Hi and welcome to Food Hockey Tube where today I will be reviewing the Aerial JC90 that was kindly sent over to us by the awesome guys over at Aerial Hockey. This is a bit of a different review as it is the first junior 90% high performance carbon hockey stick aimed at ages of 9 to 14. The stick has a 90% carbon composition and has a beautiful 12 matte carbon finish as well as a grid face for 3D skills and dribbling. It has a bow of 25mm located at 200mm from the bottom of the stick. The junior range is available in 34.5 inches and 35.5 inches and has a branded slim grip for small hands. The JC90 comes in at a competitive 130 pounds and you can get 20% off using the code FHD20 on their website, link in the description. First up I'm going to take a look at passing which I really enjoyed as I can get a lot of power and control behind the ball as it is made of 90% carbon which makes it nice and stiff especially for younger players so they can generate more power when passing the ball. The next aspect is slapping and similar to passing I could generate a lot of power and precision behind the ball due to the high stiffness. In slapping however was the area in the review which I felt the highest amount of shock but this is overcomable by adding an overgrip if you want to. Next up is hitting and this was by far my favourite aspect of the stick as I could generate so much power I couldn't believe that this is a junior stick so this is definitely the, the biggest selling point for me from this stick is the amount of power you can generate with stick with limited amounts of shock now it has a thinner grip, smaller grip for younger players now I did also test it with an over grip but the result was the same and I wanted to stay as true as possible to the design for younger players. Next up is Tomahawking which was decent. I did struggle a bit because of the shorter length of the stick but obviously it's because it's a junior stick so it's no problem for younger shorter players. It has a bit of a smaller sweet spot but after a while I could hit it every time so that's also no problem. So tomahawking is a nice aspect of the stick as well. Next up is flicking and overheading. Now I didn't include drag flicking as it isn't such a part of junior field hockey. It can however be fit for drag flicks due to the nature of the bow. Now flicking with the stick was probably my least favorite aspect of the stick. It wasn't bad however I just struggled to generate power behind the ball but with testing and getting used to the stick I later was able to add more power and overheading I really enjoyed, it was really nice and easy to get under the ball and create power. So for flicking and overhead I definitely think the stick gives an advantage over competitors due to the nature of the bow to make it easier for younger players to flick the ball. Now coming to the last part of the review which is the overall feel of the stick. 
it has a nice soft touch even though it has a high stiffness and high carbon percentage so I can do nice Indian dribbles, nice dribbles with keeping great control of the ball. The bow also allows for nice easy aerial skills getting under the ball and keeping control of the ball especially with the grid face keeping my touch on the ball with aerial skills and dribbling was really nice. So overall feel it's a great stick in all aspects and I would definitely recommend it not only for younger players between ages of 9 to 14 but I would also recommend it to senior players who's a bit shorter and enjoys playing with a shorter stick than a 36 and a half but doesn't want to compromise on specs and features so that's why I'm surprised that this is a junior stick as it's generally the quality of a senior stick focused on junior players. This is generally a stick that I couldn't recommend higher as I feel that it fills a gap in the market that's a great addition to the sport. So definitely go check out their website.